Let's get back on it. What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ali Strength Corps Line 5 Star General. Okay, as you can see, I went grocery shopping because it's time to get back on my BS, back on my grind a little bit. I've been slacking a little bit for like the last week to 10 days. I've had Chick-fil-A, Chipotle more times than I could think, Minchies, like I just mean everything. I literally been eating everything. Papa John's, all that. I mean Papa John's, the, the staff is so cool though. Like they be I order a medium, they up it to a large, like, cause they follow the channel. But besides that point, I gotta get back on my grind, man, because I just, I've been feeling not so great on the inside. Like, I know a lot of times, like, people like to talk about, oh, you know, the outside, and oh, I'm feeling, uh, uh, like, my outside, honestly, man, listen, abs still, <laughs> look, abs is still here, abs is still popping, you know what I'm saying? I be working out, I be having veins in my arm, like, I look good on the outside, I'm pretty decent. I'm satisfied when I wake up and look in the mirror, but lately I've been feeling very sluggish, very tired, and I feel like that's just from eating out so much and just eating lower quality food. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just do a little grocery haul real quick, spend my little money on this food so I don't have money left in my budget to go spend out on Chipotle and Papa John's and Minchie's. Damn, that sounds kind of good right now. But we back on the BS, we back on the grind though, so we ain't, we ain't gonna worry about any of that stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of what I got give y'all a little bit of tips, you know, as to getting back on track with your diet and things like that. Let me go ahead to the gym. We're gonna do a little workout. We're gonna come back and then we're gonna end the video. It ain't gonna be too long. I ain't gonna keep y'all forever today I'm trying to make these videos short. So let's let's talk a, bit, a little bit about this food that I got from Walmart today. I only had to go to the one store today. That's always a win. All right, guys, so I went ahead and divided the food into fats, protein, carbs, and that has some zero calorie stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about it, move it over here, talk about this stuff move it over here so that way y'all get you know to see everything anyway so zero calorie stuff first i love to have my coffee in the morning you know what i'm saying now i'm gonna mix this coffee with the protein we're gonna talk about that in a second though i might make a little video on that by itself but i got me a little starbucks i know i shouldn't be supporting them because of that whole bullshit that happened in pennsylvania but the shit tasty though and it's only 10 calories and it mixes very well with my protein coffee so sorry y'all any uh activists out there if i made you upset sorry then uh this is just some seasoning that i'm gonna put for this chicken so it's just seasoning so just throw that over there somewhere then we got as my boy brian sweet likes to call him some thick white bitches or white monsters because you know if you don't drink white monsters are you really even a youtuber like are you a real fitness youtuber if you don't drink these probably not so I gotta maintain my authenticity. My authenticity, I definitely, my braces are messing me up right now. Okay, then you know I got the Kodiak cakes. You already, so listen, y'all know I'm gonna be flipping these hoes at least four times a week, so that's that. That's carbs too. I got some black beans here because it's good for fiber and it mixed with this big ass bag of white rice. Now let's talk about this rice because I know somebody in the comment section is gonna be like, Sean, this that says long grain enriched ri white rice. Why are you eating enriched white rice? You should be getting brown rice. Listen, all right, there's nothing wrong with enriched white rice. It's all carbs and calories, guys, okay? Like, there was jasmine rice, which I was buying, but listen, that shit was t the same 20 pounds for this great value, because remember y'all, great value, hold on, great value is a great value, always remember that. This 20 pound bag cost $8. The same 20 pounds for jasmine rice was like $16, double the price. We trying to be cost efficient a little bit so we can be bougie in other areas. I'm not about to be bougie with my rice when it's just rice, you know what I'm saying? You mix it with beans. A lot of people don't understand, like, let me talk to y'all for a second. What a lot of people don't understand about white rice is that it's not like bad for you. A lot of people say, oh, it's like high glycemic index or whatever. What you have to keep in mind is this, the glycemic index is really only when you're eating a food by itself. So yeah, if you're eating only white rice, yeah, your blood sugar is gonna spike really high. If you're mixing it with beans, which has fiber, protein, which is slower digesting, and some type of fat, let's say you put guac on it, now you just slow down the digestion of everything. You don't have to worry about your blood sugar spiking up just because you have some white rice that's enriched, all right? White rice is white rice. Okay, you cook it, you, I put mine in the rice cooker that's back there somewhere. You put it in there, you make the food, you mix it with other things, you don't have to worry about the freaking glycemic index, the GI or whatever, okay? So, back to the groceries. 
All right, got me some orange juice here. This is the little, the 50, the Tropicana 50, so it's like half the calories. So I think the macros on it are, let's take a look really quick, 13 grams of carbs instead of like, I think regular orange juice is almost 30, so, or a little more than 30. So you're definitely saving on carbs here for every eight ounces. So we're gonna take that and move that over yonder. Then I got me some Tostitos, cause I be making my homemade Chipotle. What's Chipotle without chips, right? So that's that. This is just some, listen, if you got a Walmart, these clear, um, like zero calorie soda things, I got the strawberry flavor. Listen, they're really good. Well, it comes with 12. So I usually have like one with my dinner. So this is enough to last me like two weeks, okay? This is really, and it's like $3 for this whole thing. And there's no caffeine in here. So you can have them at night and not worry about staying up if you're caffeine sensitive like me. And wow, I was not sure if I had bought another one. I already had it. So guess now I'm good for like four weeks. So basically that's a month's worth of stuff. The other one is black cherry, which is my favorite flavor of any drink of all time. Okay, now let's get to, let's just, the fats. Okay, this is just almond milk, guys. Like, there's nothing special about it. Okay, got me some lean 96.4 ground beef. Cause I'm trying to keep my fats a little bit low. You know what I'm saying? So I can keep my carbs higher. Then I got some chicken thigh and I got chicken breast. So I have both. I eat usually chicken breast with my dinner and chicken thigh with my lunch because I like to stay satiated throughout the day and chicken breast has a little less fat so I can keep my fats lower at night. So that way, you know, I'm not feeling sluggish because sometimes when I have all that fat, I be feeling sluggish. All right, now we're gonna talk about, well, this is just egg whites, y'all already know. Now, let's talk about these really quick. All right, so I was like super heavy on these. These are these Premier, like protein drinks or whatever. There's like 30 grams of protein in each one. Let me tell you, literally, this is the, if you don't like protein powder, which a lot of people don't, or you just don't like protein in general, trust me when I tell you, this shit right here, my nigga, this shit right here, nigga, this is gains, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, like, this is really, really good. Um, I was pretty heavy on them. I hadn't brought them in a while just because they are a little bit expensive. Like, this little four pack is like $7.47. And I bought two of them to last me a week, so I can have one a day. And then one for like an emergency if I need protein or something like that, which I shouldn't have if I stick to my damn diet. But <laughs> um, my boy John, John Cannon, he brought them in one of his like previous videos, probably his last video. And they're gonna be releasing videos like that to be like, oh, was it the last one? The one before, probably the last one, you know what I'm saying? Whatever one wasn't that Cali Muscle video. But then I was like, damn, I forgot about those, man. Them things are hitting, bro. So, you know, they were sitting there looking at me when I was in the grocery store. I was looking at them, they were looking at me. I was looking at them, they were looking at me. The lady was looking at me, looking at them. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just buy this, cause if I don't buy it, I'm gonna think about it all week and I'm gonna end up buying it later anyway. So I bought it. Case closed. So that is all my groceries, guys. Hopefully that didn't take too long. I probably edited some of that stuff out, but you know, I kept in all the good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead. I haven't even eaten my first meal of the day yet, and it is, you probably can't see, but it's 2.58. It's basically three o'clock, and I haven't eaten anything yet. So let me get a meal in, um, let it digest, and I'm gonna head to the gym. So next time you see me, I will be at the rack, about to squat. Let go, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm up at the gym right now, and let me just, <laughs> So, I've got 365 pounds on the bar, which is not that heavy. However, a couple days ago, somebody fucking stole my belt. So, I tried to use this little shitty Gold's Gym belt or whatever, the little belts that you see people walking around the gym wearing when they have no business wearing it, like during tricep extension and bullshit like that. Yeah, um, I might as well go beltless because honestly, th there was no difference at all. So I'm just, I'm really pissed, not so much at the fact that the weight feels different, because I can adjust the weight, I'm not an ego lifter, but the fact that I have to now spend money on something I already bought, it's pretty frustrating. But anyways, man, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the sets here. Um, I may voice this one over just because I'm doing an Instagram Live, so I'm gonna just kinda record. I'll probably voice over my workout portion or just put music over it and show you what I'm doing. And then we'll talk once I'm done and finished with everything. All right, guys, so I started off with this 365 pounds. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it ended up being just because I had to go beltless, but the thing about going beltless, sometimes it can be good for you because it teaches you more on how to brace and it can kind of be a test for you to see how well you actually do brace. And my bracing has gotten a lot better since I started working with my coach, Brendan. 
he's really just been focusing a lot on improving my form and while i think that these squats could still be better they're definitely a lot better than they were and i'm getting a lot stronger on them i think all the volume all the different um different types of squats i've been doing from the banded squats going heavy adding volume with higher reps in there it's just really really bringing my squat up and honestly as much as I loved squatting before I started working with Brendan, just improving my technique, I've loved the squat even more lately just because I see the numbers going up. I see the strength happening. I see the mobility coming through and my squats getting better and better by the week. So um, even sometimes where I'm thinking, man, the progress is happening so slow, I go back and look to you know, clips to work before I was working with Brendan where, you know, my squat was not where it needed to be. And, you know, now it's getting better and better. So that's always a good thing. Rocking Cat's pink uh, clips right here because she was using mine. I took her bar, but been working a lot on my sumo pulls. They look a lot better than they did. I'm trying to keep as upright as I can and really trying to keep the knees bent and pushing through the ground and using a lot more quads. I still have some work to do with this lift. Um, sumo's not really the natural position I take for my deadlifts. I naturally am uh you know a conventional puller but i'm trying to get better at the sumo because it will shorten the range of motion for me and being a six foot two guy that's kind of important for me especially going into powerlifting to try and use the best leverage advantages that i can so that was the clips from this day this was just 315 pounds or maybe a little bit more than that i think it was a little more but uh, it moved really easily. It felt really good and I'm just glad the progress is coming and uh, y'all stay tuned for the end of the video. Leave any comments below on anything that you think I can work on. 9,996. 9,997. 9,998. 9,999. done ab wheels for 10,000 reps man fucking kills I'm telling you I'm on some Goku shit today but anyways guys I'm doing my workout so I'm about to head home have my final meal for the day talk to you a little bit and then close out this video so I will see y'all when I get home all right guys so made it back home let me go ahead and show you really quick what i'm eating and then we're gonna talk a little bit and then i'm gonna end the video so back on my bs like i said got me a cup of white rice a cup of black beans or one serving of black beans i don't know if it's a cup then i got me five ounces of chicken and i've got a little bit of uh sriracha sauce or to tomato sauce or salsa salsa yeah salsa and the tostitos on the side my homemade chipotle and I got me one of those little uh, calorie free sodas right here. All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly before I let you go about how I go about my dieting. Um, and while, when I say dieting, I'm not like trying to lose weight actively or anything like that, but for me eating the same thing every day, a lot of times you guys will see me like on Instagram, I'm always eating pancakes or you always see me with my, you know, homemade Chipotle. Like I eat the same things every day, not because like, it's the easiest thing, which I mean, for me it is, but for me it just keeps things simple. I have so many things going on, you know, between work, trying to do these YouTube videos, trying to do Instagram, trying to, you know, get things ready for school and when school's here studying. Like there's so many other things going on. The last thing I wanna do is have to think about what do I feel like eating today? How many times have you heard people say that? Like, oh, what do I feel for today? Because I eat the same thing every day, basically, I mean, I alternate, like I have two separate days where I have similar meals, but like they're a little bit different, but pretty much it's the same thing like clockwork, even the weekends. Now on the weekends, I will deviate a little bit. Like if I go out with some friends and we're out and we're eating somewhere, I may make a healthy choice, I may not. I'm not trying to diet right now, so I do what I feel like doing. If I'm feeling, eh, I don't really crave anything, I'll just get something healthy. But like if I see somebody has some ribs or I see somebody has like some fire bread, guess what? about to have them ribs and bread best believe it what i will suggest to you guys is come up with a nice meal plan like 
I'm not really one for meal planning. I like to track my macros, but tracking your macros basically is just having foods that fit into your numbers. And for me, I basically meal prep and meal plan because I eat the same thing every day. It's just that if I have a day where I'm really not feeling my meals or I just want a little something different, then I can fit it into my macros. And that way I'm not just eating based off of how I feel and then I end up eating way over my calories. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. So I've been messing up for the last like two weeks. So I got to get it together so I can start feeling better. Like when I was eating my meals every day, training, I was feeling good. Now I'm still feeling good in my training, but I'm feeling a little bit off. And I feel like it's because I'm away from my meals. I'm kind of off and thrown off a little bit. And today was about getting back on track. And I need to get better at sleep too. I'd be up on Instagram live way too late. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys did learn something. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Leave a thumbs down below. It really helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to click the bell next to the subscription button so you get notifications for all my new videos. And of course, don't forget the orders. Subscribe and share. Like and comment. Follow all my social media. Till next time, all my devil dogs, dismiss. Yeah, alert. Little bit of bitch, I don't call it alert. Uh, yeah, follow alert. Go get the file when I'm calling a murder. Uh, yeah, I have to come first. I want the baby, the baby gon' burst.